So I'm joined here with Nathan Lowe. Nathan is a uh, medical student at Stanford University who is taking a year to do uh, research. Um, and so he just presented findings today on the cost effectiveness of treating parasitic worm diseases, schistosomiasis, and soil transmitted helminthiasis. Um, and so here I am with Nathan to talk a little bit more about these findings. Um, so first of all, why did you choose to study these two parasites? So the diseases we focused on, which are soil transmitted helminths, which are three different worms, and schistosomiasis um, are diseases that affect over 1.5 billion people with a B. Um, and the guidelines that were written for the treatment have been designed um, um, about a decade ago. And so given the fact that these diseases affect so many people, we are interested in bringing a lot of the new methods, um, a lot of the new data um, that we have now to kind of look at these guidelines. Okay, and so the current guidelines, what are some of the limitations in the current WHO guidelines? So the guidelines basically function by classifying communities into risk groups based upon the prevalence or the proportion of people infected. And this is very helpful, and historically we focused on treating children. Um, but now there's a lot of evidence emerging that we may need to treat entire communities, and there's new methods such as cost effectiveness that have become more advanced. Um, and the previous guidelines weren't necessarily um, informed by these more uh, rigorous methods. So we're interested in bringing those methods to uh, these guidelines. And so through this study, what did you find in terms of how many more treatment could benefit, or how many more people would benefit from expanding the treatment guidelines, and what specifically are you recommending? So looking at our results, we find that treatment, according to a cost-effectiveness framework, would expand um, treatments within sub-Saharan Africa by, by about a five-fold, so five wow. times increase in uh, okay. treatment needs, which is um, quite considerable. Um, given the fact that coverage rates aren't necessarily um, that high today, it's more like 10 to 15 fold. Okay, wow. So given that these numbers, these pretty compelling numbers, um, what impact do you hope your study will now have on changing the treatment guidelines or in terms of impacting the guidelines? Um, well, we're hoping to engage in a conversation with the World Health Organization, who is the body that forms these guidelines, to share our results and hopefully get into a dialogue on how we can use these type of results to inform the guidelines that then in turn inform the way mass drug administration is done throughout the world. So we're hoping that these, uh, this research and these findings are relevant to revision of the guidelines. Great. And what does this mean in terms of um, mass drug administration for co-infection, places where there might be both of these worms existing? Um, what are your recommendations in terms of integrating treatment strategies? Okay, so one of our interesting findings is noticing that the cost of mass drug administration is primarily from delivery. It's not really from the medicines themselves. Okay. So essentially in a co-endemic setting where both diseases exist, it makes sense to give both treatments because the medicines themselves are quite cheap. It's the delivery, it's getting to that person okay. that costs money. So in co-endemic settings where both diseases exist, it makes sense to give integrated therapy, meaning we give both drugs whenever possible. What inspires you the most about working in tropical medicine? Um, so approaching global health as a young investigator, I think a lot of young people want to learn how to make an impact. And I think the neglected tropical diseases are a field where, um, in the name neglected, there hasn't been as much work done. So um, between using new mathematical models that have been developed recently and coming into a field where there's not as much research done. It's a field where I think that a lot of improvements can be made. Copyright Stanford University. All rights reserved.